We've all done it. Walked around barefoot and accidentally <gasps> kicked a boulder or stubbed our toe. Like I'm just done. After the mandatory cursing has stopped, what should you do? Fortunately, your big toe is nowhere near your heart, so it's not going to kill you. It hurts so much because there's very little tissue in our toes to absorb the impact. Much like hitting your shins, there's no fatty tissue or muscle tissue overlying the bones in the toe to cushion a blow. So what do we do? First, hop over to the nearest shady spot and take a good look at that throbbing toe. Check to see if the nail is split, if the skin is broken, or if the toe is scraped, scratched, or bleeding. If you tick yes to any of those, clean up your toe and put on a good dose of antibacterial cream. Good. If you tick no to any of those, your toe should be back to working condition in no time, despite a little bit of bruising. To keep the pain at bay though, you can use an ice pack or a bag of frozen peas if you prefer, but generally keep the pressure off it just for a while. What about whether it's broken or not? How can you tell? Well, the early symptoms of a broken toe will be the swelling, stiffness, pain, and a purplish bruising. If walking is painful, then the odds increase that it's broken. And if you're still hopping around after two days, then it might be time to visit the doctor and his x-ray machine. The, the doctor, it sounds like he's carrying it. Hello, <laughs> yes. you come for your x-ray? <laughs> yeah, do that.